Hello everyone, this is Daniel again, and I'm going to be going over how to export from Final Cut to Compressor and then upload to YouTube so you can get the nice HD button. So you'll be able the best quality that you can on YouTube. So let's, oh, and by the way, a lot of these parameters you can upload to Vimeo as well, but I'm just going to focus on YouTube uh, for the time being. So let's just go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do is make sure when you're exporting from Final Cut that you have your sequence highlighted that you want to export out to Compressor. Then go to File, Export, Using Compressor. And YouTube wants a few things before we get started here. Number one, for the HD function, it's best to give it a 1280 by 720 dimensioned image. So I shot in HD and I knew the whole workflow from start to finish and this is going to give you the best result. If you shot in standard definition and try to scale it up, it's not going to look that much better than if you just make the screen look bigger on your um, computer. So if you want to get the highest quality, shoot in HD, 1280 by 720 is native uh, for YouTube in terms of the HD function, so keep that in mind. Okay, so from here, I'm going to drag on a couple formats. I'm going to do the drop down for Apple, drop down for QuickTime under formats, and then go to H.264. This is the codec we're going to be giving YouTube. So from here, I'm going to double click on H.264 icon and then change some settings. Number one, I'm going to change the video settings from automatic to restrict. What, re what restrict will allow you to do, as you can see off to the side here, it says estimated file size is unknown. What I want to know is how big of a file it is because YouTube has a limit of one gig in file size. It's best to give it as much uh, bits as you can though before you give it to YouTube. So on this five minute video clip, I don't know the exact math right now so I'm going to type in a number. I'm just going to put in 10,000 uh, kilobits a second. I'm going to go ahead and uh, say OK. And according to this, it will take 380 megabytes of space at uh, 1,000 megabits, or sorry, 10,000 uh, kilobits. So instead of doing that, I want to get it as close to one gig as possible. This is just to give you the best quality. And actually, it won't give you the HD function unless you have 2,000 kilobits or above. I'm actually going to pump it up to 20,000 kilobits and see where we're at. 746 megabytes. This is going to be a lot of info for YouTube to get a nice image. So I'm going to call that fine. But just take into consideration under the setting, the l minimum that you should have is 2,000. But really, you can go up higher and you're going to get better results the more that you can pr push this. And your file size is going to be dependent on how long of a video it is. This is a five minute clip. If it was a 10 minute clip, I wouldn't be able to get away with doing uh, 20,000 kilobits a second. But for this clip, this is what I want. And I'm going to put a keyframe every 12. That's just going to give it a reference every 12 frames of a clip that it will grab to and make sure that it is a good quality basically. I'm not going to get too much into that, but um, if you want more information about encoding, there's it's a whole science in itself. I mean, might be do a tutorial on it later, but not for this one. Okay, under audio settings, we want to make sure that we change our audio to AAC and your target bit rate of 128 is fine. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And we can see we're still under the 733 megabyte size limit, so we're okay there. Couple other things, you can turn on frame controls. If you are scaling up your image for whatever reason, you can use these to give better uh, results in terms of scaling up your footage to the HD um, realm, but for our instance, we're not, so I'm gonna leave it. And just so you know, the fourth tab, or actually the fifth tab over here, this is where you can change the size so if it wasn't 1280 by 720 already your footage you can change it to that it's not going to be as good as if you natively had it at 1280 by 720 to begin with but 
um, that's fine. And you might see that it's saying here that it's 960 by 720. In reality, the display is going to be 1280 by 720. The only reason why it says 960 by 720 is because I'm using a DVC Pro HD codec. Again, uh, I'm not going to go into it too crazy right now, but just so you know, this would be um, 1280 by 720 is your goal for YouTube. So from here, um, all the settings should be set, and I'm going to save this to my desktop for now and give it a name that makes a little bit of sense. They always give you weird long names in compressor. So I'm just going to go YouTube HD and hit submit and submit again. Uh, I'm not going to save Final Cut. But from here, uh, we just have some pop-ups here. And it's not going to let me do it because I'm opening up on compressor. But basically, if you want, you can go to Batch Monitor and see exactly how long it's going to take by going to this computer, do the drop-down, and you can see what's going on. So we're just going to wait out on this and then come back back to it but really all this is going to do is it's going to pump out a file to my desktop right now and then from there I can upload it to YouTube and how I do that is simply by going to your browser and if you're signed in already you can just automatically upload the video to file I haven't signed in yet you're going to need an account on YouTube if you don't go ahead and hit sign up and make an account for yourself but Really, beyond that, there isn't a lot else to do. One thing, though, um, when you do uplo upload your video to YouTube, it will process, and after, could be 15 minutes, could be a couple hours, you'll see your video, which is fine, but the HD function of this uh, encoding may not take effect until a little bit after that, maybe a few hours, um, maybe the next day. It just depends. So, d uh, don't get too much in a hurry if you don't see the HD button on your video once it's uploaded. Just give it some time, and it'll probably be there later. If you have any questions on uploading to YouTube uh, in HD, you can always email me at dfergus at unr.edu.